So you want to make YouTube videos, but you're not because you hate how you look on camera, you don't know how to talk to a camera, and you're afraid of what people are going to say to you in the comments below. What's going on guys? Adam Ivy. AdamIvy.com, just drank a monster like 20 minutes ago, so I am pumped up for this one. Something that people tell me all the time is that they want to make YouTube videos, yeah. but they're afraid of what people are going to think about them. They're afraid of what people are going to say about them in the comments below uh, of, you know, videos on YouTube, or they hate how they look, they feel awkward talking to a camera, and guess what? All of those concerns are normal. So me personally, I started in 2009 on YouTube with a Kodak point-and-shoot camera. Uh, you know, back in the days when um, point-and-shoot cameras would also shoot video in square mode, uh, you know, none of the sidebars. Uh, let's cut to one of those videos. What's good, people? Adam Ivy. Gonna be making a beat today. Uh, I've had a lot of requests for videos and, and such, so I'm gonna be doing that today. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me for uh, up-tempo hip-hop, up-tempo top 40, uh, almost like a hip-hop slash pop hybrid. Um, so we're, that's what we're gonna do today, and you can join me. Uh, it's my first beat making video, so hopefully you like it, hopefully you like the music. Um, feel free to comment below. Okay, now that video was god-awful, and I understand that. The point of the matter is that that video right there was the fifth or sixth video that I actually shot before I had the courage to post it up on YouTube. Um, one exercise that I always encourage people to do is practice until you're comfortable with yourself. So what I would say to do is get a camera, it doesn't have to be a fancy DSLR. It doesn't even have to be a cell phone camera. You can literally buy a cheap webcam for $30 uh, and just record it straight into your computer. I'm gonna say that most of you have a computer or access to a computer where you can practice this. So regardless of what type of video you wanna do, you can literally be saying you know, your name and uh, what, you, what kind of foods you like, right? You could say, hi, my name's Adam. Um, I really like to eat at Chick-fil-A. Uh, one of my favorite menu items is the classic Chick-fil-A sandwich with two pickles, and I do a half sweet, half unsweet tea with a large fry. Waffle fries being one of the best fries that Chick-fil-A makes. This is the point. <clears throat> it doesn't have to be about anything that you want your audience uh, to, to view. It could just be something that you like to do. That's, that's one thing I want to push home here, guys. Don't do YouTube for views. Don't do YouTube to try to become famous. Don't do YouTube to try to make money. Do YouTube because you enjoy it. One reason that I'm shooting this video in my office right now is A, my studio is not set up. As you can see, I have clothing racks here that I pulled in from a different room with a bunch of Just Be Joggers. Just Be Joggers, available now at JustBe.com. Um, and I have, you know, paperwork all over my desk. As you can see, it's, it's disgusting. Uh, screensavers going in the background. It's not set up and it doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be perfect. One thing that I struggled with when I started doing YouTube videos is I thought that everything had to be perfect. My hair had to be perfect. The outfit I was wearing. Look, I'm, I'm wearing like freaking gym shorts and, and, a, and, a, and a Just Be Signature tee. Anyway, great value. Anyway, guys, um, you know, my hair is all over the place. I just want to let you guys know that you don't have to have perfection. Look at some of the largest channels on YouTube and go back and watch their first 25 videos. If this channel, if I would have never uh, created stupid parodies, if I would have never released uh, opinionated, grainy videos that I shot on an old MacBook Pro, uh, I'll cut to that video right now with no audio. Again, really bad, but this is the thing. You have to put it out to get better. You have to practice to get better. If you go to the gym and you wanna get big or you wanna lose weight or you just wanna get fit, you have to keep going. It's not a one and done thing. If you wanna eat right, you have to continue to eat right. One salad's not gonna make you lose weight. The same as one protein shake isn't gonna make you a jack dude. So if you don't like the way you look on camera, that's another thing that a lot of people deal with, including myself. Uh, I can be self-conscious. We all have our flaws that we pick out, you know, about ourselves a lot more than anybody else would. So if you look at me right now, my hair's all crazy. I'll mess it up. I don't give a shit. And I'll do the rest of the video like this because it doesn't matter. Nobody's paying attention to the things that you think they're staring at or 
you know, focused on. Uh, you could have a crooked tooth and be like, oh my God, you know, I don't want to do videos until I have braces. Or you might have a pimple or a scratch on your face. Oh my God, I don't want to do a video until uh, my face clears up. Paralysis by analysis. And what that means is you just overthink things until you paralyze yourself. And that's really, how many times have you done that? I'll let you think about it for three seconds. You've probably done it today at some point. I know I have. You overthink things and you don't take action. Action, hard work, consistency. That's the formula to be successful on anything. Your videos do not have to be perfect. In the comments below, name two things that have kept you back from making videos. Uh, and I'm gonna make another blog article over at adamivy.com with a comprehensive like five step process that you can do to get over your fear of being on film, to get over your fear of how you look on camera and get over your fear of, or not fear, I should say, um, getting over the fact of, of staring at a camera. Cause right now I'm looking you dead in the eye, right? But I'm staring at a lens and I'm alone in my house. Nobody's here, it's kind of weird. But this is one thing that I tell everybody is you have to treat your camera like they're your buddy. You have to be able to be stupid in front of the camera. You have to be able to joke, make yourself laugh, make yourself smile in a genuine way. But you know what? That takes practice. I've been doing YouTube now for, so 2009, uh, it's 2017 now. So that's eight years, maybe not quite eight years, uh, but about eight years. And I'm still not completely comfortable on camera sometimes. It takes practice and it takes a passion. It takes uh, uh, an urge to want to create. It takes an urge to want to put something out into the world. So whatever that is, guys, you have something that we all want to see. Whether that's a funny opinion on something, whether that's an incredible talent. If you don't think that you have an incredible opinion or an incredible talent of any sort, just talk about what you're interested in. If you like to play magic cards, there's somebody out there that's waiting to hear what you like about magic cards and waiting to be your friend. I've made so many friends from YouTube, so many friends from the videos I do, whether it's people that I can make smile, people that think I'm a total idiot, but you know, can respect the hustle, uh, people that have benefited from maybe some of my reviews, people that have benefited from maybe some of my rants, and you guys are like family to me. I'm, uh, there's so many of you, dozens of you, that I haven't met in real life, but I want to someday. And this channel, for me, is a catalyst to make that happen. Eventually, uh, you know, I hope to be at VidCons. I hope to be able to have seminars or conventions uh, where I can speak. Uh, I hope to have conventions of my own that I host, that I bring my friends into, that they can speak and they can reach people and they can touch lives. Um, so that's what I'm saying, guys. You gotta kinda get over yourself sometimes and practice before you post, if anything, because if you're not creating anything, you're not creating anything. I know that sounds redundant, but it's true. You, you're never gonna be a famous YouTuber. You're never gonna be a, uh, a big deal unless you put stuff out into the world so they can lift you up on their shoulders. So, like I said, I wanna know two things. In the comments below, I'm serious, stop what you're doing. I know you have like Instagram in one hand and you're watching uh, YouTube on your laptop or vice versa. Stop what you're doing in the comments below type in two things or let me know two things that have held you back from creating a video that you really felt like doing at one point or two things that have held you back from creating some type of content. And before you go and click on another video, I wanna connect with you. So come find me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all that good stuff, at Adam Ivy. Make sure to subscribe and like. And until next time, you can find me at adamivy.com.